Hi, I'm James, and I'm the timpanist of the Hong Kong Philharmonic. Hi, I'm Xander, and I'm eight years old. Hi, I'm Harrison, and I'm eight years old, and I have trumpet lessons. Hi, I'm Zoe, I'm ten years old, and I take guitar and singing lessons. And hi, I'm Linda, and I play the flute and the piccolo in the Hong Kong Phil. Well, we met thanks to the Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra because we actually met at work. Yeah. I had already been here for a couple of years working with the orchestra and then Jim arrived from Chicago so we met playing in the orchestra and yeah, yeah that's how Linda we was a started. couple rows in front of me in the orchestra and I was always um, admiring her. <laughs> and so eventually we got to um, become friends and then became more and then we got married and then we started having our family and soon we were very lucky with all of them. Well, with Linda and I, music's um, one of the biggest things in our lives since we, we work together and play every weekend on stage together. And at home we try to just um, let our kids have a love of music for whatever it is, singing or playing or... Or listening to pop songs or Broadway songs. Yeah, just all of that stuff. Fun. Just try to make it fun and, and happy and they come and see some of our shows and uh, we hope that they come and see more. Mm -hmm. um, music is one of my favorite things to do. Sometimes like scary stuff because sometimes the music suddenly turns like ba -ba, ba -ba. I feel like I'm constantly trying to juggle what what these guys need and and being at work and running backwards and forwards from home to to rehearsal and making sure that everything that they need is is in place for me then to go back and play the concert so often on a friday we have a dress rehearsal in the morning and i head home and we do some sport and activities and then rush back for the night time and we've got such a wonderful auntie who helps us here in Hong Kong, who's part of our family too, a, a babysitter, so we're very lucky. It's also support. really, it's really good that Lynn and I do work together because um, I think other people who who would play in the orchestra and don't have a musician spouse, they, they wouldn't see each other Friday and Saturday nights, and the schedules are just so different, so at least we, we see each other every weekend. Mm -hmm. I personally feel that a, a way in, in for to bring a child or a kid into orchestral music is through movies because they, they see them and they hear the orchestra and then it must be kind of a thrill to come and see it live on stage. Um, any other show that we have with a visual um, addition to it, like um, Frozen Planet or something where they can watch the screen and, and hear the music, I think that's the concerts to start coming to. Yeah, and the, the slightly earlier evening concerts or the, the Sunday afternoon concerts are a good time for families and for kids to come to concerts too. And Symphony Under the Stars. Yes. That's my favourite. That's their favourite concert They've been to, the um, well, 10 Symphony Under the Stars and 8 Symphony Under the Stars. <laughs> so. I like the ones where there's somebody, like, there's not only the orchestra playing, but there's also something else going on on the stage, like either... Like sometimes um, there's a magician or other singers or the screen playing with um, a video. Uh, you should come and watch. <laughs>